This video is brought to you by Bose, introducing the new A20 aviation headset with improved noise reduction and Bluetooth connectivity. And by XMWX Satellite Weather. Never fly blind again. See us in Air Venture booth 3037. You know, the words pampered and DC3 are almost never used in the same sentence. Hello, everyone. I'm Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from Rock Falls, Illinois, at the world's largest gathering of DC3s in probably 20 or 30 years. And this is an absolute beauty. It's been in corporate hands its entire life. It's been polished and pampered and cared for. And this is the way uh, that it's always looked, never been rebuilt. Let's hear more about it. Good morning. My name is Paul Baisley. I'm here this morning at uh, Rock Falls with uh, November 3006, affectionately known as the SMA to us. Uh, the aircraft is owned and operated by the DC-3 Flying Circus and is based out of Portland, Oregon at this time. Uh, the aircraft is a 1946 Douglas DC-3D model. Um, as such, it's one of the rarest models of DC-3. In fact, this is the only uh, example known to still be in airworthy condition in the world with two only other surviving airframes, uh, neither of which are ever likely to fly again, so it's quite a rare machine. Um, it is uh, in original condition. The aircraft, despite its appearance, has never actually been restored. The aircraft has always been in operation. It's always been a corporate aircraft. It was one of the very last aircraft sold uh, by Douglas, uh, sold to the Swiftlight Corporation in 1946. The aircraft, uh, as was common with all the D models, uh, was built from uh, war production overrun, uh, the cancellation of contracts with the U.S. government. Uh, Douglas found themselves with a, a fair quantity of, of major components and decided to build a civilian line of 28 aircraft that they called the D model. Uh, the aircraft has never been a freighter, it's never been an airliner, uh, was bought uh, new by Swift Flight in 46, direct from Douglas and uh, we have owned and uh, cared for the aircraft for about the last seven years. Um, she's uh, configured uh, for a 14-seat corporate interior. Uh, the, uh, the interior was to the owner's own specifications and uh, we put it in uh, back in 03. The uh, aircraft is powered by Pratt & Whitney R1830-94 engines. Uh, she was originally certificated with 90 Cs and the 94s uh, add just a little more performance uh, to the aircraft. Uh, it's operated at 26,900 pounds gross weight um, and we feel is uh, one of the most spectacular aircraft of its type still flying uh, because it is original. It's never been restored. Um, thank you very much.